the way taxes are set up in this country, the idea was maybe you'll travel a city over to work. But that's like our limit. You know what I'm saying? You could drive a car, ride a horse, some shit like that. Get over one city and work a job. You know what I'm saying? But like the internet just fucks this crazy. Like, like what do you what do you tax the Twitch streamer? Where is he making his money? Like he's no, making yeah. his money in, in the whole world. Everybody in the world is throwing dollars in at him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do you tax that guy? Like, it's tough. Like that person's gonna get taxed in the city that they live, right? But it's like, what if you live in like fucking some low tax place like Kentucky or some shit and you're making stupid Twitch money. It's like, is that right? Like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. That is a very complicated issue. Like how to it solve is. that. But. Um, another topic for y'all boys, man. Do you think people should get taxed more after making a certain amount of money like let's say for example if they make more than two hundred thousand or whatever a year do you think they should get taxed more than the lower income people or whatever i think they already are i think by, by the tax yeah. bracket they're taxed more but like i'm a fan of increasing tax taxes and uh going after like uh what do they call that the inheritance tax or whatever that uh yeah it, inheritance tax yeah they it gets it gets a lot of uh a lot of people get angry about it because it could potentially lead to some grieving widow having to pay money on her husband's uh, estate and things like that. Like it's it's possible. How it's most commonly used is generational wealth just passes and passes and passes, and it never actually gets taxed because it no longer uh, is eligible for taxing whenever it passes on to the next uh, next person in line. Um, I think life insurance is taxed, though, right? I think it is. Honestly, life insurance is taxed. Yeah, like when you die and you it pays out like a million uh, bucks. No, nah, that's whack. Your family might get like you know like seven hundred grand or some shit. Like it's that. nah, that's whack. Yeah. No, nah, that's whack. The man worked his whole life to pay for the for the life insurance. The man dies, yeah. don't tax that man's life insurance. Look, Tony, he don't got to work his whole life. He could pay life insurance for fucking a week and get paid out. Like Tony, no, that's, li- that, life I- life insurance is just gambling. It's gambling on the only sure thing in the world, which is that you're gonna die. That's so it's 100%. Should, so, it, so is that so it, gambling? So it should be taxed just like gambling. That shouldn't be gambling. You know you're going to die. That's Those are two things that are promised in this world, tax and death. All right? And they're combining and both it, in one. That's nope. trash. Super. If I Trump think, doesn't have to pay taxes, why the fuck do I have to pay taxes? I think super ultra rich, insanely rich people should be taxed way more. Like tax taxes on the fuck up. Tony apples, doesn't agree. He all ran the out. apples and the Amazons and the all the Exxons and the mobiles, all these niggas, these <laughs> these companies that are destroying the earth. And then I want I get a text one day and these motherfuckers are telling me to turn my AC off, turn my TV off. Well fuck turn off Times Square. How about that? Just turn that shit off. <laughs> For a few hours. That shit don't make no sense to me. It's like, you know what they tried to make us believe? They tried to make us believe that trickle-down economics was a thing. Like, these, all these rich people, oh, if we tax them, That's, they're not going to make more jobs for us. Trickle-down like, e- trickle economics is just the rich pissing down our back and telling us it's rain. Facts. Yeah, it's been Facts. proven false time and time again. I don't know why sure. anybody, every couple of years it pops back up again and people are arguing for it like it's a brand new thing. Anytime yeah. you hear about tax the rich, you'll hear trickle down em- economics. And I was like, man, fuck out of here, trickle down economics. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, yeah. my groceries I mean, get more expensive. Everything gets more expensive. I'm just supposed to hope that this rich person starts wanting to piss on my forehead. Damn. Jesus like Christ. like some sort of bad golden shower bear film. Are there good That's golden terrible. shower films? There's some good ones. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, it's not that shocking. It's just pissed, guys. No, that he's involved in that shit. Doughboy's involved in golden showers. I don't think he said so, he was yeah. involved in it. <laughs> I think I think the more you get paid, the more taxes you should pay. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think I think that's fair. 
Um, at what point does that? Uh, at what point do you think that should start? Like a hundred k? I don't know. Whatever makes sense. I'm not an economist, so like I don't know the numbers. I it's hear not, the numbers aren't people, that important to me, but it is. It's not that I hear, important to me. I hear not that to you. you. Yeah, not to you. That's but all I said. It's not that important to me. But um, if you're saying like we should tax, we should tax certain amount of people double or more. There's a number that should be thought of, right? I like don't, 150, I don't 200. Think- well, I don't think it'd be double. I don't, I'm not. I don't think anyone's saying I'm not double. double tax a little bit more. Uh, tax a little bit more, right? Like I think Jeff 200- Bezos should pay double tax. <laughs> Fuck oh, yeah. that! That guy's sitting on like almost a trillion dollars now. Is he? No, he got like four hundred something billion dollars. The Walmart I- family, <sighs> the fuck out of here, bitch! Uh, Walmart, I'm not about this a family. Dick. I'm talking about Jeff fucking Bezos. One dude. I think he got like five hundred million dollars. Five hundred billion. I'm sorry. 500 fucking billion. He's halfway to a trillion bucks. And I think he's projected to hit it in like the next decade or something. Like he'll, yeah. he'll be a trillionaire. It's a, it's insane how much like rich people's wealth has skyrocketed. Like even during I the remember, pandemic, like, they made money on the pandemic. They made those think the, uh, the, the 1% or some percentage of the, the ultra wealthy, they made something like half a trillion dollars or a trillion dollars during notice, the pandemic. You didn't notice that toilet paper went up and never went back down. Like no. it costs more to wipe your ass now. More of a reason to get a bidet. I'm a bidet man, so I don't really pay attention to the price of toilet paper anymore. That's beyond yeah. me. Yo, I only use toilet paper to dry my ass now. I wish. I just use crisp dollar bills. Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to tax you, Mateo. You're so, doing that. that so yeah, to Tony. I don't think the number is that important when you're having this type of conversation, like. Because, like I said, I'm not an economist. I don't know what what percentages at what salaries makes the most sense. I'm not, there's I'm, some. Go ahead. I'm saying I'm not. I, well, none of us are, right? I'm just well, saying yeah, you're like, asking me sh- to have the numbers. You are any any one of us. Sorry, any one of us. Like, if we're gonna say right now, if I was a president, I'd say I want to tax, or if you was a president, I want to tax them, and at this certain point, they're gonna pay an increase of taxes. What is a magical number? Two hundred thousand a year. They say once you, you make pay? more than four hundred grand, you got to start paying some some significant taxes a year. Yeah, if you make more than four hundred thousand dollars a year, I think you should pay some significant taxes. Okay, I that's, you know. I think that sounds like a good yeah, like a good area to start because I feel like, especially coming from where we come from, I've I've heard from a lot of my friends that actually when you're in those higher tax brackets. Like you get taxed out the ass. But then I heard once you get into like the hundreds of millions of dollars, those people don't really get taxed comparably to what the amount of money that they either make or or are like producing from what I'm hearing. So yeah. I would say like lesser on the lower end, more on the higher end. So like four hundred thousand sounds like a good place to start. I think the yeah, corporate just to be clear, I think the corporate tax saying, should be higher. Hey, Right, all right. When I was saying income, I wasn't saying like, like your, you know, W four, you know, or W two, whatever the fuck. You're, right. I'm not saying that shit because that is part of a discrepancy. Because that's really what Doe is talking about. Is that like, because a lot of these people aren't working anymore, they don't have general income. Like their income are is things like capital gains or or like like or they're making money off investments, right? Or they're you know, shit like that. They're making different types of, of money, and they're not, those things are not necessarily considered the same type of income. They're taxed differently. Yep. Shit. There's like, like, um, you know, when you're like, what, what is it? Like day trading or, or something like that? Like those things aren't taxed the same way or yeah, at all. Yeah. I, I don't think like like to take your to. It, uh, there's some shit like that. Yeah, I, I think I'm I think not, I think it's not until you're actually cashing out your investment that then tax is calculated and there's some kind of nonsense for that. Like it takes into account and think like what the price was when you bought it and what the price was when you sold it and some tax magic between then. I, it's not anything I've ever looked into it. I have zero interest in stocks. (laughs) I mean, I think it's where a lot of the money that is, that could be taxed is at though. Like there's a lot of money that is in that area that should be taxed because it's money that people are making it's a lot of money that the government could be using to do good shit and it's not being taxed. Meanwhile, 
you got people working fucking dead end jobs and you know they're still getting money out their paychecks and shit. So paycheck like, to paycheck. That's why I think four hundred thousand might be a little high. I'm thinking like more like at, at once you hit two hundred thousand a year, you need to get taxed no. a little increase in taxes. Because think about it, how many I people heard do those you... people get taxed a lot already? That's okay. from from what I from what I hear. People that's, that make under hundred k get taxed crazy, bro. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Everyone, everyone, everyone's unhappy about how much they get taxed. Like that's a given. Um, I'm okay. Like, I I don't have any any qualms about how much I'm taxed. So. No, I, I, I mean, all I, I, I mean, I mean any, good money. I could pay my bills. I save good money. I don't like if you tax me a couple extra bucks, I'd be all right. I wish I could choose like to uh, to opt out of paying into like the military with my taxes or something. Be like, no, no, my taxes specifically go to everything else except the military. Don't give a fuck about the military. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I would. <laughs> I would say, yo, fuck paying the military. Uh, I don't know because we kind of need the military. Hmm. Well. We, we're not talking to the military specifically, right? Like what Mateo's saying in the abstract is we should be able to pick and choose what taxes we're paying for, right? I think it's it's a problematic, like, take on Yeah, honestly. what if nobody wants it to is. pay it's for the hot one, yeah. for sure. No, yeah, it's a hot what one. What if nobody wants to pay? Every, that's how you find that out. They're like, damn, nobody wants to contribute to our military. <laughs> I, th- yeah. I would like to contribute more to, like, health care and, and, like, like uh teaching like education, shit like that education and shit like that yeah if if there was a selection there'll be very few people donating to fucking military uh, global sure. warming i have heard that the trick to uh not the trick but like the best way to rebuild the middle class in this country would be to raise the corporation tax uh back to like the 1950s levels that it was at um where did you hear this at uh, it's there's a lot of economists that have like said this. I've seen this take on Twitter from like various like people that I follow, economists that I follow, and things like that. Um, that's allegedly what they think would actually rebuild the middle class in this country, since middle middle class is actually diminishing. You're either, you know, it's either you're poor, or you're rich, pretty much. You're poor, or you're well off, or you're ultra ultra rich. Like there's just not a lot of in between. Yeah, which well, it's it's it's, it's it, that's what I'm saying. Anybody that makes under any k a year. It should get taxed less or less. My bad. I mean, like anybody that gets paid, like maybe like less than thirty or something. They don't even pay taxes. Like, like taxes come out of your paycheck, but then you get all of your taxes back at the end of the year when you do your income tax. So they're pretty much already not paying taxes. Yeah, but I mean, 30, 30 grand a year. Like, come on, brother. What the fuck? Like you. That shit's nothing. Like, I, look terrible. up how many people make that little. Dude. You're no, talking I about know. a big chunk of society. Maybe the like, average, maybe the average regular Joe makes like fifty to thirty to like sixty or seventy a year. The average person, probably. That is not the average. You think America. that's you think that's high? Yes. <laughs> I bet you the average salary is like fucking twenty nine thousand. Let me let me Google that shit. I think it's probably around like forty five. That would be my guess. Because. I don't know. That shit. Maybe fifty is the average. Not even. What what is your guess, though? I would say 35, 40. This is good content right here. I like us all just staring intently at our screen. <laughs> yeah. So the median household <laughs> income, because it's a number that I'm coming across, sixty eight thousand a year, but that's household income. So that's, that's yeah, but whoever is like house. two earners, right? I mean, if you take that number and just say, okay, let's just have it, because let's, say, let's assume there's two people, which, of course, these assumptions are bad, because you could be in a boat where it's one earner and someone they're married to that doesn't work, or yeah, there could be two earners there, or it could be a single person and they're a household, right? So then average kind of gets fucked up, but... This one says here, for one person in 2019... Was thirty one thousand and one hundred and thirty three dollars a year? Damn. Yeah, I'm I'm finding things. It's all over the all over the board, like numbers. They all range from, I've seen as low as um, not even the twenty nine thousand I claim, but I've seen as low as thirty one to as much as like in the fifties. Well, I mean, it, it, and, and it all it all depends on like your area too, right? Like a person making thirty one thousand dollars a year in New York. They're on every assistance program that there is in that city, right? Like, there's no yeah. way you can make it in that city solo without some help up there. 
thirty-one thousand in you know some little podunk town here in Texas, you probably have your own your own little like house that you rent or something, and you're doing all right. Yeah, the tax situation too is gets a little fucked in terms of um, how to effectively tax people. Um, I don't think there's much in the way in the way that states do taxes. I don't think there's much in the way of like how, like taxing individual cities and things like that, like different rates. It's typically just a state tax. Yeah. And, you know, when you look at a place like New York, like Mateo was talking about, right, you have New York City where you have a tremendous amount of wealth, like, um, you know, gathered there. And yet you still have a lot of poor people there. And then you have the rest of the state, which is massive. And there's a whole bunch of people living outside of the city. And it's like how hard to apply a single number to that. Right. It should. It, it Ideally, it would be like, you know, city by city. You could, you know, set different taxes and stuff like that. It, it makes the tax code crazy then. Yeah. And then it, it gets it, even crazy. Like, how do you tax the guy who lives in New Jersey and travels to New York to make money? Or how do you tax, like, me, right, if my job's, like, say, in California, but I get to work remote? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do I get taxed? Like, I'm making Cali money in a different state. Like, that, it, it's, that, it kind of gets all fucked. You when, should get taxed. You- you should get tax. Sorry, you should get tax where your your line of work pays you from. So if your line of work pays you is based out of California, whether you work remotely or whatever, you should get taxed what that business is at. Yeah, it's that's beef. fucked. Because like, what if you live in New York City and you work remote in some bum fuck place? So you're not making New York City money. Yeah. <clears throat> then move to get another place. job right that's very appropriate <laughs> no I, like, I mean like you should get taxed where not where you live uh, maybe you should maybe it's flip it right maybe you should get taxed where you live at then if that's yeah but I, that's I, still I, sorry, this is a the internet makes the shit very complicated the way taxes are set up in this country the idea was maybe you'll travel a city over to work but that's like our limit. You know what I'm saying? You could drive a car, ride a horse, some shit like that. Get over one city and work a job. You know what I'm saying? But like the internet just fucks this crazy. Like, like what do you what do you text the Twitch streamer? Where is he making his money? Like he's no, making yeah. his money in, in the whole world. Everybody in the world is throwing dollars in at him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do you tax that guy? Like, it's tough. Like that person's gonna get taxed in the city that they live, right? But it's like, what if you live in like fucking some low tax place like Kentucky or some shit and you're making stupid Twitch money. It's like, is that right? Like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. That is a very complicated issue. Like how to it solve is. that. But. Damn. Yeah. You just, that's, that's pretty hot because it's yeah. like, if I was a streamer on YouTube, Facebook or whatever, how the fuck do I get taxed? Like how, cause they're gifting you money. Can you tax yeah. gift money? Oh yeah. That's yes. income. 100%. Yeah. That's income. Absolutely. So they, it's not like gift money. It's no, yeah, I'm giving you, you. I giving you. I'm giving you five dollars, Pucho. You're gonna get taxed on five dollars. Me giving you five dollars. No. Yes. Yeah. At the end of the year, all those five dollars add up. Whatever that amount is, it's gonna put you in a tax bracket, and you'll get taxed by that bracket. If someone gives you just five dollars, and that was your total income for the year, most people probably wouldn't even put that on a tax document. But if you did. You, you would put, oh, I made five bucks, I'm, and the government's going to go, all right, fuck that. We, we can't do nothing. I mean, I, I don't know a lot of service industry workers that actually report their uh, their their cash tips that they get. Yeah, like, which is going to be a bit of a problem now that uh, they, they're they trying to pass through the, the U.S. Treasury Department. They're proposing this, like, um, keeping track of, like, all bank accounts that have more than, like, $500 in them. And then pretty they shitty. could use that to tax people, you know? I more think than it's a really hundred dollars. Yeah, if you have more than five hundred dollars, they they track your bank bank account. It's like the idea. So like, all these rich people, right? That that you know they're making these purchases and they're moving their money around bank to bank. The banks now have to keep track of all those transactions in such a way that the government could look at it and be like, oh, this guy's sitting on all these millions of dollars, or the, and then you know tax these people appropriately. I wonder right? how that's going to work with offshore banks and things like that. It, it, it I saw there was specific provisions in that treasury document that was about this is going to make major impacts to 
offshore banking. Like they'll be able to see all that stuff. Anytime they want to use their money here, there's going to be transactions from that place and something like that. And they're going to be able to like basically know how much money everybody has. And they're going to try to tax everybody appropriately. It does have some, it does raise some concerns, right? Like you said, all these people in the service industry, pretty much nobody who makes tip puts that tip money on a tax document. They just pocket all that cash under the table if they're receiving cash, right? There's there of course there's like the the tip places that do the whole like the tip is for the entire like um pool Staff, like this is a yeah. pool of tips for everybody and they put that in paychecks and stuff like that they're getting tip they're getting taxed on their tips but anybody that's getting just straight up like oh here's you know twenty bucks is just cash and you get to put that in your pocket like. None yeah, of those be- people are, 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 are putting those do- that, those dollars on a fucking, like... That the, sucks, too, though. Know. You know what I mean? That kind of sucks because it's like, uh, for example, like Doughboy works in an industry where he'll get tipped, right? And mm-hmm. so that means now Doughboy has to claim these tips, and then at the end of the year, he's going to get hit with a tax on that. So he's probably going to lose, end gonna up losing pretty, money. going to be pretty shitty. I, I hope. I'm just going to shootbox it from now on. Yeah, we'll see how, um, because I'm like before this stuff really goes in place, these questions are going to get asked, and I'm interested in what types of answers that that are going to be in place. You know, what Um, what is the problem they're actually trying to solve here? Is it like they're trying to tax the shit out of rich people? Okay, they're trying to find people that have a ton of money that are skirting around the tax system and be like, yo, you're sitting on all this cash, you should pay tax right? are they going to use this as like probable cause to do an audit basically is that the thought process like they're like hmm, we were monitoring your bank account and there's some real sketchy stuff in there so we're gonna have to audit you on the taxes this year i yeah i don't like i said it's a it's it's like a something they're proposing so like it's not all writ like how it's gonna work but the way it read was even scarier than that it's like all those transactions are is data that gets delivered to the IRS. So they'll, it seems like they're just going to be like, no, you did not pay me the right amount. You owe this amount. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just data that they could use to say, like, you fucked up. Like, if you did TurboTax, I wonder if TurboTax would just have all that data and just be like, boom, this is how much you got to pay. Why this is how much you get paid, you know? Why does the IRS not just tell me how much I owe them at the end of the damn year? It's they have because all, they TurboTax... Have all my- they have all my information, and if I file it wrong, they'll audit me and be like, "No, <laughs> that's not, that's the wrong amount." Right, right, right. The it's because pl- TurboTax paid them to not to to just tell you the amount. I'm playing a real dickish game, is what they're doing. It's it's actually really fucked up because a lot of places around the world, they could just go online, click a couple buttons, and be like, "Bam, this is how much I get paid, or this is how much I got to pay," and boom, their taxes are done, and they do their taxes in minutes. Mm-hmm. But in America, because, you know, we're all land of the corporate, you know, um, they like all these companies, like basically, you know, they they told the the government that they were going to provide free alternatives so that people with low income could file their taxes for free. So then the government was like, perfect. That way we don't have to create our own fucking tax system that's going to cost taxpayers a bunch of money. Right. So they let the companies do it. But in reality, if you go and try to do TurboTax for free, they fucking every step of the way, they try to get you to pay for TurboTax. Yep. So then most people end up paying. So TurboTax makes money. And then TurboTax pays the government, like like lobbies the government basically to not fucking make this easy for people. Like they don't want the government to just come out with a tax solution because then their business gets put out, you know? It, that's so, nuts. Yeah. Why yeah. do y'all why do y'all need to play cyberpunk? We're already living in a world where the corporations <laughs> control your entire life. Yeah. yeah I, I think much. it's not as bad as the world as like we <laughs> like to make it seem. But it's some there's some areas where it's like pretty fucked. I think the tax the tax area is pretty fucked when it comes to, to how the corporations like the how the corporations relationship with the government is. Um uh, you gotta rob the rich, man. Rob the rich. Wow. Ooh, That's, beast. That's beast. That's beast. The rich. I just want them to pay their fair share. Yeah, my fair share is whatever the fuck I can put in my pocket. Some, some also, people, just to some, put it out there for the one right winger who's gonna watch this fucking podcast and then talk about their fair share. Fair share would be a flat tax. Blah blah blah. It's like just shut the fuck up. You're wrong. 
Like if if say your tax was 10%, right? Let's just easy number. And I made $100 a year. You're going to take away $10 from me. And then if that same 10%, if you make a million dollars a year, you got to pay a hundred grand, right? You might say, oh, that's fair enough, right? But if you left me with only $90 at the end of the year, like how much could I live off that 90 in comparison to your 900,000? So it's like the amount of damage you did taking away the 10% from me was far more significant than the amount of damage you made to the guy who makes a million. You could take 500,000, seven, you could take $900,000 away from that millionaire and he could, he could live like would that that's way beyond the amount that I think should be taken. But I'm just saying you could take a 90% tax from that person. That person now has a hundred thousand dollars. They could spend on whatever the fuck they want. And you hurt the guy you took $10 from way more still. It's like, it's not, flat tax is like, it sounds right when someone says it because it's fair. Everybody pays their the exact amount, but it's not fair in practice. Yep. Yeah. Just just put that out there because somebody's going to watch this shit and be like, oh, flat tax. You know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, Pucho's hot take on flat taxing. Mm-hmm. You should have been uh, one of those tax people. Uh, what is it? What, what is that profession tax. called? You hate doing it? Huh? Yeah, I hate doing taxes. I hate talking about taxes. <laughs> I hate all this book. Uh, this is your favorite <laughs> episode yeah. section, then. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. But nah, um, I think that's it for the day. Pretty much, I think it was pretty good. I like the way. Uh, no, not my day. My day is going. It's still gonna go after this. I got a bunch of shit to do, but whatever. <laughs> but to all the fans, the viewers, the listeners, the ones who love us, the one who just you know, want to look at our faces every day, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. That way you're notified when we're dropping these videos. New, hot ones, the fires. Pudra hates it when I do that shit. But you it know, sounds like you're having a stroke. Hot like vids. you're not even <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, hit that notification. Hit the subscribe button. Click on it. Love us. Add us. We're doing it for the people. We're doing it for for shits and giggles, you know. If you guys like it, do it. Do us all a favor. Hit it. Share it. We appreciate you guys. Also, don't be afraid to post in the comments, happy birthday to Doe, with a, with a kid in the middle saying, happy birthday, Doe, go, Doe, go, Doe. Don't, don't be afraid. Doe's going to love it. And don't be afraid of shit talkers in the comments either. I welcome it. Yeah. Oh, we welcome that shit. Bring it. Talk about all the, talk about how tall Mateo is or how bald Pucho is or how sensitive Doe is. Talk about I'm them three. I'm pretty fucking bald. Talk about <laughs> them three. They deserve it. Appreciate y'all. And go one-up yourself. <laughs>